Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Yep, I'm going through more of those recommendations from tasting Stella Rosa and the stuff that you guys said you wanted me to keep going through. Once again, thank you. So today I am gonna be reviewing the, <laughs> the Boone's Farm Blue Hawaiian. Uh, it's an American original, flavored apple wine product. Uh, this does fall under uh, uh, the FDA classification. It does have a nutrition label. It's 150 grams, or I'm sorry, 150 calories, uh, 20 milligrams of sodium. So if you're if you're someone who's sensitive to salt, be careful there. I mean, that's a whole zero percent of your daily intake. Uh, 25 grams of carbs, with 23 of those being sugar, no protein, no vitamins. Um, contains zero percent juice though, so that's interesting. As you can tell, the W set coloration on this doesn't really apply. I'm gonna say this is a. Sm Smurf Blood Blue. No artifacts, no cloudiness. I'm not even gonna try it. But it does have a screw top, so screw top plus one. And once again, I am using this handy dandy uh, party cup because I'm not gonna clean a wine glass after drinking this. Uh, so in terms of the nose, very strong apple note, but man, smells like sunscreen. All right, so now in all seriousness, uh, what I'm getting in here, I'm getting a hint of apple. Uh, there's a lot of coconut. A lot of coconut in this. And it almost makes me feel like if you mixed this with rum, then you would have like a coconut explosion. Maybe a hint of lime. Maybe, but it might be tricking my brain with everything going on in here. Anyway, how does it taste? So once again, it tastes exactly like it smells. I've never tasted that sunscreen before, but I would assume that this is what that said. Ooh. Oh God, holy coconut. Ooh. That's a lot of coconut hitting me. Ooh. Ooh. And it's like, it's like I stuck a spoon into a jar of coconut oil and I'm just, ugh. I need water. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that is, okay. So in terms of body, um, medium plus body, uh, sweetness is also medium dry, just like the last one. Uh, that coconut, ah, uh, it's everywhere. And it's like an oily taste. I can't get the, like, can't shed it. It's like the water bounces off of it. Uh, there's no noticeable note of alcohol in this at all. Um, and like I said, it smells exactly like it tastes and it tastes exactly like it smells. So they, they still have that going for it. Um, let's, get, let's get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, no points. And the reason why is that you're sweet, you actually have a bit of a body, but you have no acidity to you, none. Like this is just, this needs, this needs acid. Um, I wouldn't drink this on my own already. I'm just telling you, I wouldn't drink it on its own. Uh, I, would, I would use it as a mixer in like a cocktail. I would, I would use it as part of the base. I would add in some acid, maybe some lime juice or something like that. Uh, you can throw in some rum or something else if you want to enhance that tropicality of it, but it really needs acid. So zero points in terms of balance. In terms of length, I'm not gonna give you no points here. Um, and the reason why is I, I was kind of expecting to have more fruit and I get a touch of fruit and then coconut. And then it's like this oily coconut note that's on your mouth and you can't get rid of it no matter how hard you try. It's not pleasurable, so no points. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium minus on the palate, except for the coconut, which is pronounced. But it's a weird oily coconut, and I don't like it, so you get no points. And in terms of complexity, no points. You, it, it's just, it's just two notes. And one is that really oily coconut, I can't say that enough, just so you know. Uh, so in the end, you're bad. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Is it still more palatable than the Stella Rosa Black? You're damn sure it is. I'm telling you now though, if someone came to me and said you have to drink this entire bottle of Boone's Farm, or you have to drink five ounces of Stella Rosa Black, I'd say hand me a straw, because this thing's going down. I would still drink it over Stella Rosa Black. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Boone's Farm Blue Hawaiian? I can't believe y'all asked me to drink this. And if you wanna see the last of the bum wine recommendations that you guys asked me to do, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notifications bell so that way you can see when future self-nauseating videos have been posted. And I'll see you all again soon with another wine review from Wine on the Dime. Stop it, y'all. Aloha.